A 20-year-old man is dead and another was seriously injured when their car slammed into a pole in Northam last night. Local residents say that their car was being pursued by police. S.E. Deves has the details. Neighbours say the Holden Commodore came to a screeching halt after it lost control, mounted a curb and slammed into a power pole. What a banging. Crunch banging, tyres squealing. The force uprooted trees. Debris was strewn across the yards of three homes, ripping through a brick wall. It was boom. The power lights just went up like a, like a bolt. And that was and sparks and smoke and it was absolutely shocking. Inside the crumpled wreck, three men, possibly four. 20-year-old passenger Johnny was killed. His older cousin, Alan Ryder, injured. It's believed he was driving the car. It's just hard to take, you know. And my, my son's in hospital down in Royal Perth, and it's... I... He, he's in a coma down there, he's in an induced coma. Alan's grieving father says he was on his way to his daughter's house when he stumbled across the crash. When Ron arrived, he says he saw his son sitting on the side of the road talking to police. He says there were so many people in the area, he couldn't even see the wrecked car. Police won't confirm whether they had earlier been pursuing the vehicle after it failed to stop, but neighbours say they heard sirens leading up to the crash. Last month, the state government introduced legislation for mandatory jail time for drivers who injure or kill others during a police pursuit. My opinion, it's, it, it should never happen. There's always some other time you can grab the people, you know. You don't chase them, they don't, you know, they don't go reckless. Even if they could just get the, the number plate of the car and just let it go and pick it up later or something like that. Internal affairs officers are investigating whether police were pursuing the car in the lead up to the crash. Charges are yet to be laid. In Northam, S.E. Deves, 10 News.